Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you, in my opinion, the best basketball defense plays that you can run with your team. So if you haven't seen my previous videos about the best defenses against or with a tall team and then another video with a short team, you can go check those out as well. I'm going to link those in the description too. But anyways, in this video I'm going to show you in my opinion the best defenses that you can run with an overall team. This is a team that has a mixture of a ton of different types of heights and sizes and different types of players all in general so let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out okay so here we have the one three one now the idea behind this is obviously he is our safety this player is going to be leading one of these players while well, usually a team will have two or three players trying to get the ball past half court um, but let's just have to just to make things easy for right now but just to get the concepts down so we're going to have two players on offense right now. We are going to have our leader, the guy who's going to be, or the girl who is going to be leading the player on offense one side or the other, left or right. Next rule is these three players here. I do not want them to go past half court. This is no man's land for them. I do not want them there. What I want is player one to lead the player to the corner. Let's just say this corner for now. And to get trapped in this corner. That way they cannot go back past half court or else it's a turnover. Obviously can't go out of bounds because that would be a turnover as well. And then they would be trapped in this corner by either players four and three or by players four and one. So let's get down to it. Let's see how this works. So let's say player one, ideally you would have him be the one who is going to be leading the basketball to that corner and this could be a trap. Now this is a once in a lifetime opportunity because that really never happens. Um, so let's say they reverse the basketball which means that he would pass the player two. At this time because we don't want these players past half. I don't want these players to be running after him saying, I'll intercept that because that's not going to happen. So what we want is player two now to start dribbling up. He can even dribble up the middle. That's totally fine. If that happens, player three gets right up to the half court line. Player five might move up just a bit, but player one needs to sprint his butt over to player two to force him back over to that corner. Now, once that starts happening, because we're keeping these players home behind the half court line, he could 100% pass back over to player one. And then player one blue just has to get his butt back over there so that now he gets trapped in this corner. This is our whole plan. Now what you're probably thinking is, well, what happens if we have a player in this corner or a player in the other corner? Well, that when that happens, what we kind of want to do is now have player five maybe getting a bit deeper really really watching to see where player one red is looking if he's looking this way he may cheat a few steps over to the right side or over to this side while if player one is looking this way he may cheat just a bit over to this side so that he can pick off these passes Player 5 needs to be able to pick off these passes, mainly because if player 1 was to pass to player 5 and player 5 blue missed, we're going to be having these two players sprint down and still protecting that key. So what I really want is for player 5 to be risky and cutting off those passes. He needs to be quick and agile as well. Now the next play is going to be a 4-1 or you could also call this a really tight 2-2-1 half court press. And basically the idea behind this is player 1 and 3, or this could also be players 1 and 2, doesn't really matter. They're going to be closing off the center of the court, again staying home behind the half court line. We don't want them to pass that. And then what we want is for there to be a pass. These players just may be playing a bit deeper that way, so when player 1 gets just over half court, we want these players to start guiding him towards the sideline and when that happens we all win because we want to catch him there that is the whole thing cutting off the middle and directing over to the sidelines that is the whole name of the game this defense absolutely murdered 
uh, my team that I've coached my first year coaching a travel team uh, murdered us in the first two minutes because my team at the age they were at which was grade eight that's up here in Canada at the time at least we were not allowed to play press defense up until that time, which is grade 8. So, well, that really hurt us at the beginning, but we were able to get past it by passing it around to find openings here and here. Now, I am going to start with my unbeatable basketball defense uh, on the half-court side of the game. Basically, I will give away the, my formation, which is this is the formation, generally speaking, what it looks like. And basically, what I will tell you is everything below the free throw line extended is a double team. There will be double teams in this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot, as well as this spot. And how I do that, well, you'll just have to buy the book. And everywhere up here is single coverage with our point guard, so he better be very agile and quick. But if the ball is on this side, if he needs to pass over to the side of the court, generally speaking, uh, well, there's lots of pickoff passes there. So, yeah, if you want to know what that's like, check out the book. It's the Unbeatable Basketball Defense in the description below. But anyways, what I also really like to run is the 2-1-2 zone defense. Now, what I mean by the 2-1-2 half-court zone defense is like this. It's played differently than pretty well any other team you'll probably ever see. So we have player 5. He is our center. And usually, at least up here in Canada, our centers are ridiculously agile. Um, my first year play coaching travel basketball we had a six foot four kid who was very skinny and very quick and this defense uh worked pretty good when we ran it anyways so basically the 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 center this guy he is going to be guarding this whole area that is his area so when the ball is up top let's just for the sake of arguments let's get the point guard just because everyone's gonna be like oh your your center is a point guard no it's not okay so let's get the point guard up top. When the point guard is up top, this is going to look like a 3-2 zone defense. It's going to even run like a 2 or 3-2 zone defense. However, if the ball is in the post, it's definitely going to look like a 3-2 zone. I mean a 2-3 zone defense because now it's a 2-3 zone. That's how it's ran. If the ball is up top, it's a 3-2. If the ball is in the post, it is now a 2-3, and that is a fantastic defense to run. If you can have a center who's quick enough to run this, you will win many, many games. So just like how a 2-3 zone defense works, you're going to be running a 2-3 zone defense. However, if the ball is up top, again, center comes up, and you are now in a 3-2 zone. This is a very good defense to run as well, especially next to my unbeatable basketball defense because well they're that defense alone looks like a combination between man-to-man -man defense and a 2-3 zone at the same time so this defense really does work perfectly if you could run like myself the unbeatable defense in the first quarter and the third quarter and then the this 2-1-2 in the second and fourth quarter or you can flip-flop it it works amazing. Now, I wasn't trying to make this into a huge advertisement for my basketball book, um, but it's a very good defense. Lots of people do like it. Um, however, what I was trying to get the point to was that half-court press or half-court zone I showed you, the half-court press I showed you, as well as that full-court zone press. Those are all very good defenses to run as well. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow because I do post new videos every single day. Hello, basketball coaches. So, yes, this is a quick few-second advertisement. Basically, I just want to let you guys know that I have another channel called Football Coach Allen. I go over football plays. I am starting to add more and more plays on there. So if you are a football coach as well as a basketball coach, go check that out. You can see it in the link in the description below, but you can also see it as my other channels on the right side of my main YouTube channel, Basketball Coach Allen. So I will see you guys over there, hopefully.
Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.